Braids are giving Snoop Dogg, and the combo of the braids with the jacket is giving 2016 vibes. <laughs> channel if you are new here hello my name is Carrie I make girly glam and slightly ratchet content here online and we're just gonna get right into today's vlog if you're not new here you're probably already like girl where the heck are you I just arrived a couple of hours ago maybe only one hour two hours ago to New York City. And I guess we have some very friendly catching up to do. I'm here on business. I'm here for my job job. I work in venture capital as a marketing director. I never talk about my job because I kind of separate that from this part of my life. But we have a team retreat for the next two days. So I'm in New York, but I decided to book at a little swanky hotel, mainly because I needed parking because I drove um, and I've had car issues for the past yeah. Last year, my first car I ever got um, was stolen, crashed, and I didn't get it for two months. I was without a car for two months, and then once I got it, I traded it in because I didn't want it to get stolen again. Um, so then I got my new car in August, and then in November, my car was crashed into while it was parked in front of my house. She has the best of luck with cars. But you know what? That was 2023 energy, and this year is 2024 energy. So long story short, the repair shop who was fixing my vehicle this time around sucks. Zero out of 10 would recommend like really this close to being the Karen and going on Yelp and Google and any other place and writing a terrible review so no one has the same experience that I've had and that Sam has had because his car was also crashed into the same day. But um, they did an awful job. I picked up my car on Friday after two months just for it to still be making noises that it definitely didn't make before. So I took it back to them on Monday and then they had like dumb excuses for why there was noise and what they needed to fix, which what they said needed to be fixed didn't make any sense, so I knew they didn't know how to do their job. Long story short, I picked up my car from them. I said, I'm not dealing with you anymore. And shout out to my dad for coming in clutch, but he had a good repair shop near him that he has used a lot, has worked with. These people were not a lot nicer and they were able to get my car and fix it within 24 hours. All of that to say, I was able to finally get my car back. I booked at the Kimberly Hotel. The people here are fantastic, they're very kind, and I have room service, so I can't be mad. So I got myself a little sweet, so I feel like a little princess, um, and I'm very happy actually, so I don't know why the air is so loud, um, because I have a microwave, and I usually don't. Um, so I have a microwave, and down there I do have a fridge. I have a his and her sink, which made me a little sad because Sam's not here with me. But I set up my little beauty, travel beauty section so that I can feel like a princess, and I like the little chandeliers. I have like a little sweet area, but it's so dark in here that I think I'll like this more tomorrow. Um, when the sun is out. And then finally, I just have my bed. Of course, this is pause right now, but I have the Real Housewives. I literally never not watch them when I travel. It's my comfort show. I have to watch it. It just makes me feel at ease. I'm also living for the mirror that they have. She's giving, okay? Um, I don't know what this is though. A little sus. They have a shoe shiner. That's how you know it's bougie. And then this is just the closet, which does close. It has like little sliding doors, but I'm keeping them open for now. Um, and the room actually also closes. They have little French doors so that I don't have to hear the hallway noise, which I really, really like. And I love my little bag. Stony Clover sent me their new snow, like, ski lodge themed collection. I absolutely love this, though. I was not expecting to get anything with my name on it, let alone more than one bag, so I'm so happy. And it's pretty spacious and sturdy. So I already set out my clothes, and I'm starting to get back into my groove of travel, because I didn't travel as much last year, but of unpacking first thing. But yeah, I figured I'd give you guys a quick update on what's been happening this week. You also haven't gotten any vlogs the last week by the time you see this one just because I've been trying to deal with this car situation and then on top of that prepping for travel it's just timing was not in my favor this coming week um but I'll be back in my flow for February. So I'm going to take you guys along for my week. I usually try to have a little bit of a plan or an outline so that somewhat entertaining and not just random but this vlog might be a little random because I haven't had time to outline any of my videos but I'm gonna get off for now so that I can unwind have my dinner take a shower and I probably will see you guys when I'm doing my night routine not been bringing me my own ketchup bottle this man brought this out on a silver platter what <laughs> Thank you. 
because I double layered my sweaters which I never do but um, I have a black turtleneck underneath this striped sweater so it's super nice and cozy and the skirt is kind of short but because I have the sweater I can like get away with pulling things down and it not looking super awkward I was gonna wear boots with this outfit but I put them on and immediately was like no and yesterday I saw like people don't be wearing heels in New York because it's not practical or if you wear them you wear sneakers on them the street. So, um, I was originally gonna walk in my sneakers, put on my boots, but I packed loafers, um, my fake little dupe Prada loafers. I'm just gonna wear those. <laughs> I'm doing a 
can we talk about this freaking concealer? Actually, let me tell you the four products that I used the other day, technically five, for a light errand beat. Boom! Urban Decay Day Brow. This has become my new favorite brow gel. Boom, boom. Number two. Um, I don't know if I can call this a favorite yet because I've only used it a couple of times, but this is the YSL Sparkly Glowy Primer. But this is definitely a new favorite. This is the Lancome All Over Concealer. I literally kind of sleep on Lancome, I'm not gonna lie. I've always liked the products from them that I've tried in the past. But um, Lancome I always associate with a more mature woman because that's typically the clientele that I used Lancome on when I worked at Sephora. This concealer is perfect. It is so smoothing, but also it gives you the perfect amount of coverage. It's lightweight, um, hydrating. This is some good stuff. This mascara has been my jam since it came out. This is by Benefit. It's their FanFest mascara. Now, you can always replace this mascara, honestly. If you don't like mascara, some people have been into the no mascara trend this year. I don't really like it for me, unless I'm not wearing any makeup. But I'm going to add two more products into the mix. This is the Lip Contour Wand in Medium Deep by Bobble. I always feel like I don't look finished if I don't have lip liner on. So this is nice for no makeup days because it's kind of lining the lips, but softer. I get the hype. I get the hype, y'all. This is the Lancome Juicy Tube Original. It's just a hydrating lip gloss, but oh my goodness. It is so nice that I own just look better with foundation. But this one is so smooth that it kind of just looks like my skin. There we have it. She's fresh faced. She's ready to go get you a five minute routine, y'all. Is this what adulting feels like? I feel like I very much look like a child right now. Quick OOTD. I have on this cropped like thermal shirt that I've had for forever from Forever 21. My gray leggings that I've been obsessed with from Victoria's Secret. And this jacket that I did rent but I ended up buying um, on sale from Noli. I can't remember exactly what brand this is. It's super cozy and it keeps me nice and warm. And I just put my hair in braids because the partially curled, partially straight was not working for me. Shout out to Chaslin for telling me that Amazon has these giant pearl earrings. It's already lunchtime though, and I didn't get my groceries yet to make myself some soup. So I think I'm gonna go pick up noodles, eat in my car, like old school college carry, and then get some shopping done. Also realized I didn't show you my rings, but I've been obsessed with my Pandora rings. Um, actually, <laughs> this one is Pavoy, I think, not Pandora, but I really like wearing rings on my middle finger now, so I have this one, and then on this hand, this is Pandora. It's a little heart band that I've been in love with. I secured the food. Braids are giving Snoop Dogg, and the combo of the braids with the jacket is giving 2016 vibes. I just finished eating, and it's just so nice to be in my car after not having it for two months, so um, I am now going to, I think, either go to Home Goods or TJ Maxx first before going to the stores that I get my groceries. And your girl is staying hydrated. This is not a Stanley. Stop buying Stanleys and get yourself a Crave. This is like half the cost, perfect shade of pink, and actually really nice 40 ounce tumbler, and I got it from Amazon. Period. talk about how pink my dining room table has become and I'm living for it. I just got back from the store and unpacked all my groceries and things so I wanted to show you guys what I got. Featuring a crying Chester because he's a crybaby. I got something for you bud but you gotta be nice. You gotta be nice. You want something good? You want a treat? Can you lay down? Leave it. Leave it. Okay. Yummy! It's a cheese puff! Without the cheese! It's giving St. Valentine. I got these little heart-shaped pastas because I'm hosting my sisters over for Galentine's and I figured this would be kind of cute. For $10, I got this cute little pink 
ceramic basket. I got this cute little jar of fake tulips. I got this specifically to match my little butter tin. Ooh. About to crack everything. This for four dollars. It's one of those little. I don't know what the official name is, but it's like the tray that you put your spoon on. I was so happy to see this. I did not know that there was a set of things, so now I have that. I also got a set of two ceramic little heart bowls. I forced myself to only get one thing of kitchen towels because I literally do not need any more. But these were too cute. I got these little Valentine's Day vouchers where you can write little things too that I thought would be kind of cute for Valentine's. And I got this little grass bunny. And then from Ulta, I kind of followed the pink theme a little bit. I needed more of my hair mask, which I never remember to write down, so I'm actually really happy I thought about it. So I always love the way fine to medium hair mask. Some more makeup remover wipes. I like to get the two pack from Ulta. I got this brush. Um, I don't know anything about this brand except I have a blue smoothing brush that I have had since I was in cosmetology in high school. So since I've been 15, over 10 years, and it needs to go. So <laughs> I got a new one. And then from Too Faced, I decided to go with the pink theme and I saw that they recently came out with a natural mascara which I thought might be nice for my little five minute makeup routine, so I decided to buy that. And I also treated myself to a jelly gloss, which is like their lip oil meets gloss combo. And then I don't need more press-ons, but I did like this little blush and rhinestone kiss set, so I got it because it was the last one there, so I was like, this might not be there again. Hi loves! I ended up having a pretty relaxed evening yesterday, and I didn't finish this vlog, so I wanted to finish it out here. I just did some crazy bold 70s blue eye makeup for a Love Witch inspired makeup tutorial. But I'm about to now take some photos for Valentine's Day. I think I'm gonna put together like a little outfit idea video. So I figured I'd end this vlog through like a little mini content night. Chester wanted to be the star, so he now has photos with bows in his hair because he only stopped whining when I let him sit to take photos. Are you an IG baddie? Are you an IG baddie? The aftermath of the mask. Porn stars, love it. Mobile Mart, there's stuff in there I actually like. Mm -hmm.